So we're going through exercise 10C and in this video I'll be answering question 14. The selectors of a sporting team need to choose 10 athletes from the 15 track and 12 field athletes who have qualified to compete. How many groups are possible? So for A right here, it's saying how many groups are possible? So they haven't given me any restrictions. So that means my group could be made up of anyone from the track athletes and the 12 field athletes. So that means my N is going to be 15 plus 12 because everyone has the possibility of being in the group. And I know that the group size is 10 athletes. So that means I'm going to write down that it's going to be 27 C 10. And remember, this is the same thing as writing it as 27 on 10. So this is just a difference in notation. I now I'm going to use my CAS to solve this. So I'm going to come over here and go menu, probability, combinations, and type in my N value first, and then my R value, so 27 and 10, and that's going to give me my answer. So now I'm going to write that in, 8, 4, 3, 6, 2, 8, 5, and that's my answer to A. Let's now move on to B. How many groups would contain track athletes only? So now we're just considering just track athletes. So how many groups would contain track athletes only? So no longer is my N 27, but now my N is simply the track athletes, which is 15. I still have a group size of 10, so I'm still having my R being 10. So now I can rewrite this as 15C10, and remember this is the same thing as if I wrote it as 15 and 10. Now I'm going to come over here and put that into my CAS. So again, probability, combinations, my N first, then my R, 15 and 10. My answer is going to be 3003, 3003. Next, how many groups would contain field athletes only? So next, how many would contain field athletes only? So now I'm just considering these students, the 12 field athletes, athletes, sorry, not students. So N equals 12, R equals 10, 12 C 10. That's the same as 12 on 10, just a difference in notation. Now we come over here and we go menu, we go probability, then we go combinations. We type in my N value first, then the R value, 12 and 10, and my answer is going to be 66. 66. Let's now answer the last question we have here, D, which says how many groups would contain half track and half field athletes? So half track and half field. So if half of them, so let me come up here. I have 15 students in track. 15 students in track. And if half of them, if half my team is going to be made up of them, and I know that my team is made up of 10 players, well, that would mean that five students are going to be from my track team. I'm now going to multiply that by half the students who are field athletes. So I'm going to come up here and say, my field athletes are 12 students. So that means I have 12 students and I have five positions for them to take. And by timesing them together, I'm going to be figuring out how many groups would contain half track and half field. So now I'm going to come over here and go menu, probability, combinations, 15 and, whoops, 15 and five, close my brackets, multiplication, and then once again, menu, probability, combinations, uh, now 12 and five. Then I'm going to hit enter, and that is going to be my answer. So it's going to be two, three, seven, eight, three, seven, six. Two, three, seven, eight, three, seven, six. So they are all my answers for this question. Hopefully this has been helpful to you if you got stuck anywhere here.